darling. I'm watching my show. Mommy, um, you really like Lily, right? Oh, yes. She's a wonderful child. Well, there's a kid at school who says that you're actually Lily's real mom. What? What? Who, who, who is this? Meanwhile... Okay, Spill, I've seen you work several cases with Chad. Monica, weren't you the one that told me that it wasn't a good idea to date a co-worker? Well, you weren't planning on listening to me, were you? Uh, honestly, nothing's happened. He invited me for coffee the day that we interrogated that nurse, but we didn't end up going because they called us about that fire. Good afternoon, ladies. Yes, how can we help you? I'm the new doctor at the hospital. Doctor? I thought you were that new TV heartthrob from the studio around the corner. <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that. I'm here looking for some information about that switched out birth case that happened about four years ago. Oh, of course, I can help you with that. Oh, perfect. And then maybe after we could go get some ice cream. What do you think? Huh? Who's that guy? Why is he inviting Blair out? Excuse me, sir. Ah, uh, can I help you with something? Oh, don't worry about it. I'm already being helped by the wonderfully amazing Miss Blair. Ugh. Here, here's the folder with all the information pertaining to the case. Excuse me, this information is confidential. Excuse me, I have a right to see that information as a responsible, caring citizen. <laughs> Sweetheart, have you noticed how many coincidences there are with Lily? What are you talking about? I'm saying that Lily could be the baby that they switched. We're talking about that again? Catherine, your lack of love for Izzy is starting to make me angry. But think about it, darling. They were born on the same day, and Lily has your same blood type. You're worrying me, Catherine. What you need to do is care about Izzy more. Fine. Tomorrow I'll take Izzy to daycare. I'll use that as an opportunity to figure out what boy said that to Izzy. The next day... Okay, Lily, let's go. Hurry up. Don't forget we have to go walk to school, and that takes longer. Ah, oh, Mommy, but I get really tired after walking. But it's nice. We'll enjoy the sun, do some exercise. I'll drive you both. I mean, I have to drive Izzy anyway. Yes, Mommy, yes, yes. Let's go with Mrs. Jackson. I appreciate it, Catherine, but I'd prefer that we walk. But Lily would prefer to go in the car. Catherine, I'm so thankful for everything you've done, but I would really appreciate it if you didn't interfere with the way I raised Lily. Um, okay, I'm sorry. Ugh, I can't believe she used my line against me. Later. told you about me being Lily's mom. That one, Mommy! The one with the striped shirt! Ugh, what can I do to talk to that boy? Okay, children, let's head to art class. Yay, art class! Children, let your creativity fly. I'm gonna draw a mermaid, and she has a magic tail. I'm gonna draw a dinosaur, but he has lion feet and robot arms. I'm gonna draw Lily's mom reading me a story. Lily's mom is your mom. I told you already. That's not true. My mommy said that you don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. And she's Izzy's mom. in timeout, and if you continue to say those things, I'm going to have to talk to your mother. That's not fair! 
swear I didn't lie. Why do I have to be in timeout? <coughs> Amelia, I wanted to talk to you. You see, Izzy's birthday is coming up, and since the girls have the same birthday, I wanted to ask if you'd be interested in hosting a birthday party for both girls. I think that's a great idea. Perfect. This is my opportunity to speak to that boy. Two weeks later... Wahoo! What a fun birthday party! The party's turning out so nice, Catherine. Yes, the kids are having such a fun time. Ugh, if I want to talk to that boy, it's now or never. Excuse me, Amelia. I'll be back. Little boy, excuse me, can you come here for a minute? Yes, ma'am. What was that thing you told Izzy about me being Lily's mom? Uh, me? No, I didn't say that. That wasn't me. I didn't say that. Hmm, the teacher already put me in time out for saying that. I'm never going to say it again. What does that lady think? That I want to get in trouble again? But Izzy told me what you said. Uh, no, no, I don't know. Izzy must be confused. I don't know. I didn't say anything. Ugh, that Izzy, she lied to me. I'm gonna ground her. Hi, friends. Snickerhoops here, and welcome to another Roblox gameplay. Today, we just finished our sixth episode of the Switched at Birth series. Well, friends, as I'm sure you saw, we confirmed Chili's little brother's name, and it's gonna be Caesar. Because since Chili's full name is Cleopatra, a super funny name for her brother would be Caesar. I think that's an opportunity that can't be passed up. So her little brother is going to be named Caesar. And I was also thinking, oh, how do I get out of here? Okay, so I was also thinking um, about that campsite that we visited last time. Here, over here by the campsite. Well, okay, it's not exactly the campsite, but um, over here by where it says the lake house. Last time we saw that we had to pay Robux for this, but friends, how about since you guys like the Brookhaven series so much, how about we just buy the lake house already? Let's buy these things. So we're gonna get the lake house. Let's see, which one could it be? Is it this one? Ooh, I think so. <gasps> how fancy. Wow. Friends, in the comments, let me know if you guys would like me to do a house tour of this super fancy lake house. It's super awesome. And let's see what else we can buy. Let's buy more faces. And okay, I think I can use them. Let's see. Let's see, the ones that have a lock. Oh, okay, I think I can use them now. Even if they have a lock. Hmm, well, I'm not sure why the lock still appears, but as long as we can use them, that's not a problem. <laughs> that one's funny. Ooh, we have a lot of possibilities now, friends. With all these new faces that we've unlocked. Well, friends, the time has arrived for you to leave your ideas in the comments for how we can continue this story. 